cosa leggerai con che libro affascini il tuo cuore e se ti perderai nel labirinto di un amaro autore The News River a majestic 195 mile river that stretches from the upper Noose River Basin to the Pamlico Sound. Many people enjoy the recreation the river has to offer, whether it be enjoying the view or taking a walk in the Noose River Dam. Over 190,000 people live on the Noose River. How many of those know that the river is endangered? being endangered before. So what makes a river endangered? When a river's headwaters, riparian areas, and in-stream flow are threatened, a river becomes endangered. Headwaters carry water, sediment, and food for aquatic life down the river. The Luce River has three main tributaries, the Eno River, the Little River, and the Flat River. But even these creeks that feed the noose are constantly being fed by hundreds of smaller creeks, like this one. Housing development and construction threaten many headwaters near rivers. Know that little creek in your backyard? However much water flows down it, it will end up contributing to a river. Pollute it, and you pollute the river. Riparian areas are the strip of land parallel to the river. They give many animals, insects, and fish a place to live. Without riparian areas, many species of animals will lose their homes. The riverbanks will be susceptible to erosion. Sadly, people destroy riparian areas just by walking on them, or worse, leaving their trash there. In-stream flow is the water in the river, and the rate at which it flows. Many animals' instincts are driven by the fluctuation of the water's flow, altering the in-stream flow by means of a dam or other man-made structure may throw off an animal's instincts. Without some of the fish that base the reproduction around natural flooding, the river is more vulnerable to dangerous algal bloom. So what can be done about the nooses vanishing headwaters? Threatened riparian areas and unnatural in-stream flow? Many laws already are in place that keep the noose alive, such as the Clean Water Act and the Safe Drinking Water Act. But even these aren't enough. Hog farms are dumping thousands of pounds of waste into the river, the water that will become the water we drink every year. Do you really want to drink water that has hog waste in it? Fortunately, there are groups organized to combat the pollution of the river. The river keepers, for example, hold yearly river cleanups and promote awareness of the river's peril. Recently ranked number eight on the American River's most endangered list, the noose needs help. With hope and effort, the noose can be permanently erased from that list. Thank you, Alex Wapnick speaking.